Dodge Honda 75 here with a grill piece in my collection that just arrived in the mail today. Um, I'm so excited I finally picked up this piece. I have the Shinakuma already, uh, which is the Sideshow exclusive version, but this is, uh, this was actually, Sideshow never even offered this. This was before Sideshow, I think, carried Jerry's products. I think he did it through Diamond Distributors in the very beginning, but he, but this is the, uh, regular Akuma, as you can see. It's just an amazing piece. I love this piece. Just it's it's the same exact sculpt as the Shin Akuma, but you know obviously Akuma is my favorite character with the red hair and the red eyes and the, the sculpt's amazing. It's just I mean I've said so much about the Shin Akuma, but I can just go on for hours about this thing. I love the uh, how he did he did a perfect rendition of the ten symbol. Obviously this is mixed media, so it's all cloth. And he did a perfect rendition of the Japanese kanji. The it means either ten or heaven. Um, Akuma being the raging demon. It's kind of ironic that he has heaven on his back. But um, it's all mixed media, just like the other one. The polysome sculpt, as you can see, a little bit of styrofoam here and there. It's all sculpted perfectly. Um, one thing I think even Jerry said this that he wish he had done to be true to form for Akuma was put sandals on. Because Akuma really, for the most part, isn't barefoot. Um, another customization I did, well, in some of the Street Fighters, I think the earlier ones, Akuma did have a black belt, but traditionally, Akuma always has the rope belt. So I'll just show you real quick. I just made a custom, with a clothesline, made a custom rope belt to match the Shin Akuma's rope belt. You know, you could tie it and make it look better, obviously. Um, I'll take it off now. I just wanted to show you briefly what I did for a little customization. Um, I'm going to do a better bead necklace too. But um, the uh, belt is all wires and the, the shirt top of the gi is also wired all around the collar so you can pose it for posability. Obviously the beads removed. You want to be careful because you don't want to get any of the uh, bead marks on the sculpt. Um, but Another thing, what someone did, uh, actually a friend of mine, Andrew, or Speedy485, he actually painted this symbol. He unstitched this shirt and took the shirt off and just like had it hanging from his belt. And he did this exact symbol on the back of the, the bare back of the sculpt of the Akuma, kind of to match the uh, Shin Akuma. So it uh, looks amazing. Um, he's actually for sale right now on eBay, his Akuma he's selling. Um, here is, you can see, it's number 104 of 600, the Certificate of Authenticity, with the uh, owner of Pop Culture Shock Collectibles and the sculptor, Jerry Macaluso. There's his autograph there, too. And it also came with the uh, Alvin Lee autographed print. Alvin Lee is the uh, artist from Udon Comics who does all the Street Fighter artwork. And he drew the, uh, the artwork that this statue was based on, this Akuma, which is a beautiful picture of Akuma there. Um, I believe that came with the Shin Akuma and the Akuma. And yeah, just back to an amazing statue here from Pop Culture Shock Collectibles and Jerry Macaluso. I love how he did this kind of higher and kind of like spiky, just like Akuma. It's just so true to form. The statue's the best uh, representation of Akuma, I feel, in my opinion. I don't think there's a, there's a thing wrong with the statue. It's amazing. Just look at the glossy red eyes. It looks so cool, the demon eyes. You don't even need a light up feature with this thing. It looks so perfect. I have the Shinakuma too. I love the Shinakuma, don't get me wrong, but this is because Akuma as a character is definitely my favorite Street Fighter character, so this definitely takes the cake for my newest grill piece, even though the Shinakuma is probably worth more money and rarer because I think there was only 175 or 125 of those. I don't have the stats in front of me right now, but the sculpt is just amazing down to every little vein and just. Jerry did such a great job, and the, toe, the toenails even have, like, gloss on them, like, <laughs> he's, had a, he's had a pedicure. Just uh, such a great sculpt, and obviously, as you can see, it's it's the exact same sculpt as the uh, Shinakuma. And obviously, the uh, beads, you got to be very careful, but the beads come off, too, of course. And then you just see... Just how great the sculpt is. It's just amazing. You see there's a very little slight bead mark, which is very minor. You get that a lot with these statues. Obviously the back does not have the kanji painted on the back. 
like uh, like I said, my buddy Andy or Speedy four eight five did a great job. You could obviously customize that yourself, but for the time, I do not want to mess with perfection, so I'm leaving the statue as is. That's it. This is a uh, statue hunter seventy five with uh, probably my favorite Street Fighter statue right now in my collection, the Akuma. And it's number 104 of 600. One other quick thing, it's like this statue was meant for me. My birthday is October 4th, 10-4, 104 of 600. It's kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, Statue Hunter 75 with Pop Culture Shock Collectibles, Jerry Macaluso's Street Fighter Akuma Mixed Media Statue.